Looks like Fiji's gonna change its flag soon. From this to something else. Uh, Fiji's been in a bit of a state of change lately. In 2014, last year, they had their first democratic elections in eight years. So for those eight years, it's been pretty much military rule after a military coup. Interestingly, in these elections last year, military coup leader Frank Bainimarama was elected prime minister. Okay. Interesting. So early this year, Prime Minister Bainimarama announced a flag change. It appears that he wants to move on to something that's pure Fiji, no more British, because there's the Union Jack there. Sound familiar, New Zealanders? Now this flag change process they're going with doesn't appear to be the most democratic. Wow, what are the odds? A coup leader's flag change being undemocratic. Who'd have thought? So the Fijian government started accepting design submissions, and they ended up with 23 finalists. So let's check them out. Hey everyone, here I am at newfijiflag.com. A new flag for a new Fiji. Let's go to view the finalists. Alright, over here is a symbolism description page, which I already read. So let's go to view the first design. Now, I don't know why it begins at number 35, but that's how they do it, I guess. Okay, gradient, no. Get rid of the gradient, and it might be an okay flag. Um, this is apparently some flower. I'm guessing this is a flower that's native to Fiji, if if I'm guessing right. Um, it looks a bit normal and average for a flag design. Next. All right, conch shell, that's good. Dark blue stars, that's just kind of confusing for me. Make them white, and I think this would be a great flag. Next. Okay, got rid of the stars. Um, now it appears a bit awkwardly empty over there, but uh, it's alright. It's a good flag. Next. And now we have a turtle over here, and the dark blue stars are back. Like the turtle. Adorable little turtle. I love it. Uh, stars, no. Make them white, and that'd be better. Ah, just the turtle. Hello, turtle. Uh, looks good. <laughs> Looking good, turtle. Uh, red on two shades of blue. <laughs> this one's a bit awkward color-wise. Uh, I like the ship shape, but not the red. That's a bit weird. Next. Oh, it has... Did I offend it? I don't know. It's, it's heading out. It's headed west. Alright, next. I read the symbolism page. And I do not know what this shape is supposed to be. <laughs> a shark fin, a, a stylistic... I don't know what it is. But brown on light blue, it gets a no from me. It's a bit weird. Better colors. I still have no idea what that shape is, but... Okay. Next. And a new shade of yellow. So that's good, I guess. Good colors. Good colors. I'll, I'll give them that. I don't know what that shape is. Um, okay, five-pointed stars are used all over the world. It's not very unique to really any country, so I'm not a big fan of the five-pointed star. I think you guys can do better than that. But, um, if it's Fiji, if it's a Fiji thing, then go for it. Apparently the number seven is like a good omen for some Fijians, according to that page uh, at the beginning, so, eh. I'm not a big fan of it. Just reminds me of Tuvalu and Atigea and Indiana. <laughs> Next. Okay, we got a ring of seven stars. Okay, that's all right. Looks good. Ooh, now this one's much more... It kind of says island, tropical island to me. Um, I like it. It's nice and bright and friendly and welcoming. Only three colors. They work together really well. I like it. Uh, I like this one too. Same three colors, very simple design. Looks kind of like a, a tropical island version of the Czech Republic, <laughs> but it's good. I like it. Okay, sun in the sky could be the flag of any country in the world, but I'm not complaining too much because it's nice and simple and unique, so I don't think I've seen this kind of sun on any national flag, uh, like a quadrant of a sun. So it's good. It's all right. Not very unique, though. And this one doesn't seem very unique either. But, two colors. It's alright, I guess. Not my favorite. Alright, 
sun rising over the ocean horizon. Reminds me of Antigua and Barbuda. Not the most unique either, but it's uh, it's aesthetically pleasing. The colors look good. It's all right. Next. Okay, there's the boat again, but a better color. And uh, this one's good. I, I really like this one. And there it is. I, the triangle works. The triangle, for some reason, works. These stars are bugging me. Um, make them white, and they'd be they'd be much better. Okay, this one's great, in my opinion. I this one's great. This one's just great. Just look at it. White on blue, much better than red on blue. Um, this is good. I like it. This is probably my favorite one. Oh, it is chasing the red one down. I guess. Come back. All right. <laughs> and mystery shape is back with a new thing in the middle, whatever that is. Okay, I guess it means something. So, point points for that, I guess. And here we are again. Again, not a fan of the brown on light blue. Um, and now the poker chip has a has a <laughs> whatever that is, the poker chip or whatever it is, looks like it has a palm tree in the middle which is so tiny it probably won't matter when the flag is waving in the air and from a distance you probably couldn't see it so okay not a big fan of that one anyway those are the 23 designs so yeah let's continue our little video now these 23 finalists were apparently amalgamated by flag committee members what I think that means is that some guys took some of the similar designs and mashed them together in this amalgamation I kind of want to see the originals that people sent in, but okay. Prime Minister by name Rama earlier said that the final design should be ready in October this year to coincide with the 45th anniversary of Fiji's independence. However, it's now been announced that the submissions shall be extended to the end of this year and that Parliament shall consider the new design next year in 2016. So who knows when the final design will be announced, but it looks like the flag change is going to happen whether the people of Fiji like it or not. So if you want to check out the original 23 finalists, you can head over to newfijiflag.com, which appears a bit out of date since it's not mentioning the new su submission extension period. Uh, but anyway, go check them out if you want. Let me know your favorite designs, if you have any. And thank you for watching. Farewell.